Larry's Old Time Village is an independent cultural heritage site in Offaly County, Ireland, built by Larry Egan over the course of almost 20 years. It depicts Larry's take on Irish history and heritage from the early to the mid-1900s, with some scenes dating earlier. Three annexes host life-size political and celebrity figures, archival photographs of local people, folk narratives, and articles of pre- and early modern Irish material culture. Larry's houses, built of concrete and thatch, and now some supportive ivy, and surrounding landscapes are self-made, as are some of his figures. Other figures are store and auction bought. Starting with one thatched house about 17 years ago, the village proper currently includes a dozen more elements. A pub, a school, the guard, a landlord's house and collector's house, a rosary scene, and various agricultural and hunting scenes. Walking down the village road, we stopped in front of a farmer's house and Larry described the scene to me. Now this is another one, this is in the farmer's house, he'd be fairly settled. He has, he, when a farmer, in them years when he was happy, he leant over the half door waiting for a neighbour to come in to talk to him. And of course that's the mammy sitting outside. So this is the farmer and he's waiting for somebody to come And his to wife. Him? And he's, he usually, if, he, if the work is all done and things are going well, you'll see him lying over the half door waiting for someone to come in to talk to him. And so who's this guy coming with a horse? Ah, uh, well, he's only just coming in there with a load of... He should have a load of turf on, but he must have it unloaded at the back. A load of what? Turf. Turf, a load of turf. Oh, yeah. Later, we made a quick stop at the forge. That's the forge, and that's the blacksmith, and they have the little anvil there for shoeing horses. That was a very important thing in Ireland long ago. You went to the forge of a wet day when you had nothing else to do, to chat and talk. We also stopped at the rosary scene where Larry described his memories of the ritual of the rosary from his youth. The rosary scene. Yes, it's the rosary scene you see. They're saying the rosary round about, Mammy and Dad and the children, and they see the, the old man at in with his foot up on the stool, his hip is at him, he can't kneel down, and they see they have the, the wife is dead, have prayers offered for her, she died five years previous. I, I made the story as I saw it when I was that age. Everyone said the rosary at that time. The periphery of the village is spotted with relics and larger life-size elements of Irish heritage. A fish pond, shrines to Catholic saints, a fairy shrub, and more explanatory signage and stories. Larry's site also includes three annexes, roof structures which people can enter. The first is a miniature thatched cottage decorated with Irish furniture, life-size figures wearing the masks of former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and Ireland's tea search of that time, and signs of American emigration. Larry told me a bit about American parcels. You see, American parcel was very welcome and much appreciated, and it contained a uh, postman was busy at that time. This parcel sent uh, here uh, contains one pound of coffee and a pound of tea, 200 cigarettes, two Two, 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 two pounds of tobacco and a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of perfume, bluegrass perfume. We all knew it because we were dancing with girls in the dance. <laughs> you'd, know who got the, you'd know who got American party, you'd smell the bluegrass perfume. <laughs> the second structure, the pub, includes customers surrounded by photographs from the Offaly Library and snapshots of the construction and early history of Larry's village. Larry described the bar scene to me. First, he introduced the seated customers. Well, this is an Irish pub, and that's the two customers. That's They're rough-looking customers, aren't rough they? Rough-looking. <laughs> it's Jack Nicholson, and who's the woman? Huh? I don't know. There's no names on them, no. I, I just met them as a friend of them. Then he explained what was happening at the bar. Well, now, there's two pints. She'd have a small pint, and he'd have the full pint. And he have oh god the fag is going. And there's the barmaid inside. She's pulling a, 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 a at that time they had the they had a way of drawing the the but there was no pints that time. Like they had all bottle stuff and she had the way of drawing the yo, know, pull down the hand like that's in there no there are nothing pubs now.
In the third building, other village and non-village miniature scenes depict agriculture, transport, and leisure. Life-size models of American Hillary Clinton and Ireland's Ian Paisley pull a horse-drawn wagon. I asked Larry about his choice of political figures. She means, why did you put Ian Paisley and Hillary Clinton together? Is there any meaning to why well, you Well, there, there wouldn't be except the two good politicians, you know. For Larry, the creation of the village is an ongoing project. As he says... I only do it myself, you know. Mm -hmm. That's only a hobby I have, you know. While Larry may see his work as a hobby, what he has created is an important part of West Offaly's cultural heritage, which he has shared and continues to share openly.